Hello and howdy everyone. Uh, a few days ago I got to see the film uh, The Spectacular Now and I enjoyed it. It was definitely, uh, I was in for a lot more than I had expected. Um, I wanted to see the film for two reasons. Uh, primarily I had heard that uh, Bob Odenkirk uh, was in a movie. Um, I am a Bob Odenkirk fanatic. I think he's a genius. Um, and I will see any and everything that Bob Odenkirk is associated with. Uh, so uh, being a Bob Odenkirk super fan, I was like, well, he's in a movie, I've got to go see it. And then I, you know, learned that it was actually supposed to be pretty good. You know, I checked Metacritic and it has a very high uh, average on Metacritic. And I was like, well, okay, I'll spend my money on this. Um, perhaps it's because I was going for my fan relationship with Bob Odenkirk, I thought it was going to be funnier. You know, uh, it's a very, you know, kind of heavy at times drama. And I was not prepared for that. But it's nothing, you know, I couldn't handle. Just definitely wasn't prepared for that. Uh, didn't laugh much at all. Uh, it's pretty much about teen angst. You know, uh, it reminded me somewhat of seeing The Way Way Back uh, recently, but where The Way Way Back was far more enjoyable to watch, uh, there I would still say of the same quality. You know, I, I gave Way Way Back an 8. I will give uh, Spectacular now an 8. I have no problem with that. I think they're... I think they almost in a way make a good double feature, as long as you watch Spectacular now first. And then you'd see way, way back, so you could leave with that feeling that the film gives you. Um, but Spectacular Now is about teen angst. You have, uh, you have high school senior. Um, I can't remember his, uh, his, I can't remember really anyone's name from, the, from this movie. Um, Shailene Woodley is the actress, and I think uh, she was from... Oh, that Julianne Moore and Ed Benning lesbians in love movie that I can never remember the name of because it's too long. Um, and Bob Odenkirk, I, those are pretty much the only two names I know. Uh, everyone else was pretty much a new face to me. Uh, the fellow who carries the film, the, the focused character, the, the uh, high school senior guy, I can't remember his name, he was very good. Um, I think he might have been a Nickelodeon star, I'm not sure, uh, but he's very good here, uh, carried the film definitely. Um, at, you know, all of the acting is, is very natural, top, you know, top rate. Um, the film is just very natural. Uh, if there's uh, a reason I'm not giving it a 10, it's because it was a little slow, you know, a little bit slow. Uh, you know, you watch these people deal with their problems and they're taking their sweet time and you start thinking about your own problems. In a way it reminded, I can't remember the filmmaker's name, but uh, reminded me of the guy who did uh, Mud uh, and Take Shelter. It really reminded me of his work. Uh, just it was natural about, you know, small family lives. And, well, therefore it's about big important topics, uh, but yet it's not in any hurry, you know, it's not in any hurry, it took its time, and you get a little distracted by your own brain, at least I do. Uh, and that's, you know, why I'm not giving it a 10. Uh, also, I thought at times it kind of swayed into melodrama, you know, it just got too heavy sometimes. Um, you know, it just, just kept on piling on the drama, which again, I'm a fan of drama, I don't mind drama. But, uh, you know, it just kept on coming. I was like, well, I'd like it to be something a little more. I'd like the tone to be a little bit different. You know, it just seemed a little monotone, really. Um, but the acting and the naturalism of the writing uh, definitely keeps you, you know, pulled in. Uh, I, can't, I can't tell you the writer. Uh, I can't tell you the director. They're two separate people. Um, I believe this is a debut film uh, from, the, from the director. I'm not sure about the screenwriter. Um, but uh, they definitely seem to be uh, simpatico with their sensibilities uh, in storytelling. 
Um, you know, it, it just all seemed very natural. It was written very naturally, uh, dealt with true emotions. Um, all the acting was very, you know, slow, uh, natural, real, um, probably heavily improvised. Uh, you know, it's, it's like they set up the camera and then let their actors, you know, take the time to, to find the scene. Uh, and you can sometimes feel that. Again, I'm going back to that, you know, just a little bit boring, you know, just, you know, you've got to keep you sucked in. Um, okay, so you've got this teen angst. You've got, uh, he's almost an alcoholic already as a, as a senior in high school. He's got a job. Um, seems to have a good life. He's got, like, the hottest girl in school as his girlfriend. Um, then I guess she dumps him. Uh, at first, you know, he's going to this kind of hippie, I don't know what to call her, you know, just an artist kind of girl, um, uncompromising. Uh, and you, for a while, you think it's going to be like a joke, like a mean prank. Uh, but, you know, he, uh, he falls in love with her. You know, he, he falls in, they fall in love together. Um, and that's, you know, that's pretty much what it's about. There's, there's a lot more going on. Uh, there's a lot of drama. They're both, they both come from broken homes. Um, there's a lot about, uh, you know, being a child of divorced parents. Uh, and I believe hers actually died. I can't remember. But uh, anyway, they're products of uh, single parent families. Um, so I thought, you know, that was interesting. Uh, I, you know, that's becoming more and more of a, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, you know, division of our population, or, you know, we've got these big, uh, you know, generation of kids who come from single parent families. Uh, so I think that this is kind of important for them to, you know, that they have a film to identify with. Um, I definitely couldn't identify with a lot of this film. Uh, you know, I like the fact that it was in a small town, um, and I believe it was in Georgia. Uh, I'm from a small town as well, um, so it had that, didn't really give you too much of an intimate look at that small town life like I enjoy, but it, uh, it did have that small town aspect down, you know, I, I could appreciate that, you know, side of it. Um, but there's a lot here I can't identify with, you know. High school for me, one, I can't identify with the single parent family. I can't identify with high school being a, you know, traumatic, uh, what am I trying to say? Very, you know, dramatic, uh, life, you know, time of my life. High school for me was, you know, very easy going. There was, it, I have yet to see a high school movie that is pretty much like my high school experience. Maybe no one would want to see that movie. Um, but, you know, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Uh, but it's, I definitely haven't seen a, you know, very a true to my high school experience. But I'm sure it's somewhat like this for normal people. Um, no, not normal. Average, average people. Um... And, you know, all this, like, true love stuff, I, you know, I don't know. That, I heard, recently read a statistic that seems impossible to me, but something like 75 to 80 percent of, of people uh, choose to partner or marry, whatever you want to say, spend their life with the person they knew, you know, from youth, from, from high school. Uh, I think they said from under the age of 19, which again, when I think about that, that doesn't seem possible, and maybe it's not, but I have read that 75 to 80 percent of humans, uh, or at least Americans, choose to live their life with someone they have known since they were before 19, since they were younger than 19. I think that's uh, whatever impressive, uh, certainly startling when I read that. Uh, and it's kind of it's kind of like that, you know. This where does that come from, you know? Uh, how does that get started at such a young age? Uh, 
you know again it's also about you know the search for your parents uh, you know your where do you come from um, you know again there's a lot going on here uh, this is a film that definitely can uh, can stand repeat viewings it's just that I don't know if I want to you know because it's very heavy and it's you know again just drama and it's not I can't say that it's fun you know I, I and I'm not saying it necessarily is a bad thing but the film isn't fun uh, there was one walkout, you know, I, I saw this in the theater. Um, I don't know if it's absolutely necessary to see in the theater because it's a small, you know, dramatic piece and it could easily be watched at home. Uh, but there was one walkout. Um, I'd say maybe about 40 minutes in, into the film, uh, a guy, single guy, got up and walked out. Um, I wasn't anywhere near that disappointed with the film. I don't, you know, again, I don't get that. I don't, I don't know what he saw in it to walk out. You know, it was definitely captivating enough. Uh, you definitely come to care about everyone on the screen. You know, every, every character uh, is very real. And they feel very real. Um, so you start to care. When something bad happens, and... It isn't as bad as it looks. You know, you think it's going to be terrible, but it turns out not to be so bad. But when something bad happens to these characters, you're like, oh my god. You know, my heart just, like, kind of broke in a way, uh, just in instantly. Um, so that, you know, that shows a mastery of, of character and, and of, and of uh, writing, I guess, that, you know, we come to care that much over the course of 90 minutes. Um, good movie. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I think I've hit all my great, you know, great acting, great writing, uh, look good. You know, no, it's not particularly stylish, but it, you know, well directed. Um, uh, you know, told that story well. The tone, again, they established that tone really well. I just, I'd like to hit it more notes, you know, uh, I'd, I'd like to hit more notes. Uh, again, I just keep on thinking of the way, way back, you know, uh, it had a lot, you know, more, you know, and again, maybe it copped out a little bit by being, uh, you know, more crowd pleasing, but again, I thought they dealt with some of the same topics, um, but yet did it in different ways. I, I think they'd make a good double feature. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought about Way Way Back and I also thought about Mud. And not particularly about Mud, but uh, I can't remember his name. The filmmaker, uh, his style at least. I thought this could have easily been one of his. Um, but as a directorial debut, I think it's fantastic. And as a uh, writing debut, which I'm not 100% certain that it's a writing debut, but it's, it's certainly the debut of a new, unique voice uh, that, uh, that has something to say. Um, and you really, really come to identify and care about the characters. Uh, but uh, I just, I just could have used a little bit more uh, uh, emotional, different emotional notes. Um, and just, I think they could have made it just a tiny bit shorter, just to keep, you know, attention spans from wandering a little bit. I think those are my only, uh, you know, criticisms. But uh, really good movie, really good movie. Definitely a highlight of the year. Uh, you know, something to talk about, something to definitely something to see. Uh, so I think that's pretty much all I've got for that. Uh, so that's the spectacular now, and I give it a solid eight. Thanks very much.